channel I am so freaking excited for this video because if you have been a long time subscribers you will know I used to have an obsession like legit there's a hair in my face obsession with Birchbox and Ipsy and actually a bunch of other subscriptions I was like the subscription queen of reviews and just like showing you so much product and it got to a point where I had so much makeup and so much skincare and I took a step back and I was like I have got to stop and I didn't want to just like pick and choose so I canceled every single subscription I don't have any subscriptions full disclosure this was sent to me today so I didn't pay for it but I jumped on that bandwagon when they sent me an email saying they came out with a new subscription to just basically amplify what Ipsy already was so I will be as honest as I always am, but I have the Ipsy Plus. And if you don't know what that is, it is five full-size products. Whereas regular Ipsy is five just like trial size products, very similar to Birchbox. Everything in here is full size. It is not gonna be the same as someone else what they get because it's personalized to your profile that you make. It's only $25. Like that's the part that literally blows my mind they didn't when they told me they were sending it to me they didn't give me any really like, information about it i was just like of course like even if it were just a regular ipsy bag i miss it so much you have no idea which is ten dollars i just went online to look up like actual stats to tell you guys on this 25 dollars and every box has over 120 dollars in it so like that's literally just like a fraction of what you're getting in here what you're spending so I'm excited. I, this wasn't like personalized to me. I will forewarn you. I don't have a profile. Um, they're probably just sending me products they think I might like or you guys might like. So we'll dig in. Anthony actually, <laughs> I was sitting on the couch this morning and this came in the mail yesterday and I didn't have a chance to film and he, I like looked down and he had this open and was like setting the products out. And I was like, oh my gosh, take that away because if you guys again watch my old videos like the best part of this is a surprise so let's open it i don't know what's in here i immediately closed my eyes when he had it open so straight in the box which i'm assuming he put it back together the same it says don't be pretty like them be pretty like you i like that quote very uh self-esteem building okay inside we have some cards your Glam Bag Plus to-do list. One, get to know the products. Two, you got it, now flaunt it. Three, talk to us, review them. Four, get more. I think every time you shop in the Ipsy shop, you get like 10 to 30% cash back. I think you can just use it on other purchases. Um, it is available as of April, which is now um, to everyone, but I think it's like reserved quantities. So if you end up really liking this idea, uh, definitely hop on now because I know even when like Ipsy first started out, it took me months to get my first glam bag. And I have a feeling this will be popular. Okay, product time. The first thing is Feel Balance Moisture Balancing Cream. Moisturizes deeply for 24 hours. I love this minimalist packaging and like the colors. It's supposed to be a combination of plant extracts and oils that creates a strong moisture barrier on the skin. Cucumber extract smoothes skin with hydrating and anti-inflammatory powers. I need that. I get very red because my skin's so sensitive. Um, and then elder tree extract for fresh glowing skin. Use it like a moisturizer, not a big deal. Why um, is this coming open? <laughs> oh, I should tell you, I'm wearing a robe because and I don't know if you can tell I'm fancier than normal prom tonight. I will try to do like a cutout right now and show you my dress and everything. Uh, Chester, not Chester, Oliver. I cannot say his name ever. It's hard. I don't know if that happens when you have like kids, when you have a new one and you just don't remember their name as well. <laughs> Oliver's been Chester a lot and then Archie, which is Anthony's parents' dog. Well, pardon the jean jacket. It is cold outside. And it is raining, so let me slap this off so you can actually see the dress because I got this at Burlington Coat Factory. We've never been there before. And um, this is a 
Adriana Papel. I don't know if I say that right, but that's a very expensive designer. And if you can tell, I got it for $39 and it's originally $279. And I used to work at a bridal shop and we sold these dresses. I know they're expensive and I know quality wise and I got a really, really good deal on that. I'm excited. It's very pretty. I'm wearing it with these yellow heels, which is why I have the yellow earrings. And then I will wear the jean jacket. I know it's odd because <laughs> it's a really fancy dress, but I'm gonna make it a little more casual because it will be freezing. So anyways, that's what I'm wearing to prom as a chaperone. Again, not a high school kid, but yeah, I'm going back to prom. The next thing is Paris Hilton. Paris has skincare? I used to be obsessed with Paris Hilton's, the like pink uh, perfume bottle that had like the stripes down it. Oh, it smelled so good. I don't know if they, they probably still make that. This is Pro DNA Advanced Skin Care Serum Dual Action Cleansing Gel. An essential two-in-one first step cleanser to jumpstart your age delay regimen. Actually, I'm running out of my current cleanser, so great, I don't have to buy a new one. I'm all for it. Uh, very like, black and rose gold chic packaging. Let's see if I can smell it. It has this on. I'll take that off because I will keep this. Keeping probably all of it. Sometimes I give stuff to my friends, but I've been in like a drought when it comes to buying things. So I can usually use everything that I get sent. It doesn't have much of a smell. I didn't really expect it to, but cleansing gel. It says to use it on your face Oh, at first I thought it was just saying use it on your like boobs, but I read it wrong. So uh, <laughs> use it on your face. You could use it on your boobs, so I'm not telling you what to do. And then we have the, f where's the front? Gold Fadden MD Bright Eyes Dark Circle Radiance Concentrate. I needed a new eye cream. This is for tired eyes. I wouldn't categorize my eyes as being tired, but I love putting lotion on them because I'm nervous that they will get like wrinkly someday, which they will, but I'm, I've been that person since I was like a teenager, middle school, that has been using like heavy eye creams. I think they look pretty good so far. But this is to visibly brighten the eye area, reduce the appearance of under eye puffiness and fatigue, and minimize the appearance of fine lines. Let's open it up. I love that this has a pump because I hate and I have, and I'm currently using a pot that you have to dig your fingers in. And if you guys have any eye infection issues, you know how dangerous that can be. So pumps are where it's at and what I buy now, aside from the one I'm currently using. I won't buy like a pot again. I can't for sure say that, I just don't think I will. So far, so good. Wait, that was one, two, three products. They're counting this as one product, which really, it's two. Uh, this is by Girl Tick, Girl Girl Girlactic. Um, I've never heard of that brand before. It is a three-in-one lip sparkle balm. What? Apply under lip gloss as a topper over a liquid lipstick, or the let this. I can't talk or let the lip sparkle on its own. Let's see, I don't have anything on my lips. Open you. Maybe I'll use this tonight. Let's see. Hmm. It's just a pretty gloss. It doesn't have like any color, which is actually up my alley because I am always like sipping on water, putting it on chapstick moving my lip stuff around that I can't wear like liquid lipsticks anyways. So just have a purpley color and then like a golden color. I put the purpley one on, but it's sheer. I feel like I might be able to feel some of the glitter in there. I don't love that feeling, but it also could be my makeup. I think it might be glitter though. I'll swatch it for you guys. And then the last thing, what's this? Moods by Laura Sanchez. This is a palette. Again, never, I've never heard of any of these brands. I know they do send brands that are like well known too, but I also don't mind finding new brands. I know Paris Hilton, I just didn't know she had a skincare line. This is such cute packaging. It's like a palm reader type 
magical vibe and let's see oh this is a good summer palette i don't have any of these colors aside for those neutrals right here let's see if my ring light's gonna let you see it well look how vibrant i want to try that yellow i'm obsessed with yellow but i've never put it on my eyes and then you have a couple of highlighters it looks like very nice very nice I don't know. <laughs> the yellow would actually match what I'm wearing a little bit right now. Um, okay. Oh, Oliver. He is uh, always up in my business, right? You're the cutest. Okay, you got lipstick on now. So you have five, technically I have six products for $25. I think alone, even just this palette was probably more than $25. I guess I can look up that card now. Now that I'm not worried about seeing what I got. The moisturizer, <laughs> the moisturizer was worth $28, already more than what the box is valued at. I don't know why I'm staring at my face. I apologize, <laughs> I haven't filmed in a while. The Galactic Beauty, they were a set of two, maybe that's why, because the set, they're counting it as a product. Um, it was $34, which again is over the price of the box. The Paris Hilton Gel Cleanser was $29 over the price of the box. <laughs> And then the Bright Eyes was $55, which was double the price of the box. And the palette was $35, which is over. Not a single product in here was under what the actual box was worth. Or what you caught, oh my gosh, what you paid for the box. So I would honestly, like, full on say, even though some of these products, like, I would have never picked out because I don't even know these brands. 100% um, worth the $25. Like, no questions asked. I think my favorite, because I, I used to do this. I haven't done this in years, you guys. This is weird. My favorite product in the box is going to go, I want to say the palette, like just out of like curiosity, because the colors are so interesting and intriguing. But my favorite as far as functionality at this very moment is this eye cream, because I'm literally at the bottom of mine right now, and I did not want to buy a new one at all because eye creams are expensive. So thank you so much, Ipsy. And also thank you for watching. I'm actually nervous now because I think I want to sign up for this subscription. Uh, but when I was on the site like a few minutes ago, it looked like it might not, um, like it might be sold out or anything. So we'll see. I love you so much and I will see you soon. Bye.